Welcome to the 152nd edition of Pod Universe, India's leading pod magazine. In this edition, we feature the space race that happened between erstwhile Soviet Union and the United States during the period between 1957 and 1975. This podcast is part of the July 2012 edition of Ezine Presents. I am Susan Koshi. Between 1957 and 1975, the Cold War rivalry between the two nations, Soviet Union or USSR and United States or US, focused on attaining firsts in space exploration, which was seen as necessary for national security and symbolic of technological and ideological superiority. The space race involved pioneering efforts to launch artificial satellites suborbital and orbital human space flight around the earth and piloted voyages to the moon while soviet union was the first to enter the space united states became the first to land man on the moon it effectively began with the soviet launch of the sputnik 1 artificial satellite on 4th october 1957 and concluded with the cooperative apollo soyuz test project human space flight mission in July 1975 the apollo soyuz test project came to symbolize detente a partial easing of strained relations between the ussr and the us the space race had its origins in the missile based arms race that occurred just after the end of the world war 2 when both the soviet union and the united states captured advanced german rocket technology and personnel the space race sparked unprecedented increases in spending on education and pure research which accelerated scientific advancements some famous probes and missions included sputnik 1 explorer 1 vostok 1 marina 2 ranger 7 luna 9 alouette 1 apollo 8 and apollo 11 In 1952, the International Council of Scientific Unions decided to establish 1st July 1957 to December 31st 1958 as the International Geophysical Year or IGY because the scientists knew that the cycles of solar activity would be at a high point then. In October 1954, The council adopted a resolution calling for artificial satellites to be launched during the IGY to map the earth's surface. In July 1955, the White House announced plans to launch an earth orbiting satellite for the IGY and solicited proposals from various government research agencies to undertake development. The Sputnik 1 rocket was launched on 4th October 1957. The Sputnik satellite, weighing 83 kilograms or 183 pounds, and only twice the size of a football, could be seen with the naked eye as it circled the Earth for 22 days. It emitted a signal that could be heard on a household radio. It took about 98 minutes to orbit the Earth on its elliptical path. On October the 4th, 1957, while the Americans were still finalizing their plans, Sputnik was launched. Then its casing opened. The springs snapped, and the nose cone was pushed out of the way. A ball with four antennae emerged to go it alone in the darkness of space. And a radio began to send a signal back to Earth. Humanity had entered the space age.
successful launch of Sputnik 1 changed history by starting the space age and space race between US and USSR. In addition, the Europeans and the Americans feared that the Soviet Union's ability to launch satellites also translated into the capability to launch ballistic missiles that could carry nuclear weapons from Europe to the US. Then the Soviets struck again. On 3rd November 1957, Sputnik 2 was launched, carrying a much heavier payload, including a dog named Laika. Launch of Sputnik triggered US to grant more funds to compete with USSR. On 31st January 1958, the United States successfully launched Explorer 1. This satellite discovered the magnetic radiation belts around the Earth, named after principal investigator James Van Allen. The Sputnik launch also led directly to the creation of NASA or the National Aeronautics and Space Administration on 1st October 1958. Soviet Union was achieving more success in space mission due to intense rivalry of US. This included sending the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin, and carrying out the first spacewalk. On 12th April 1961, the Soviets launched Yuri Gagarin into orbit around the Earth on Vostok 1 spacecraft. Yuri Gagarin was in the space for 1 hour and 48 minutes. In an historic speech on 25th May 1961, President John F. Kennedy announced an ambitious space exploration program in the joint session of the Congress. This included putting man on the moon before the end of the decade. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space, and none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. On 3rd February 1966, Luna 9 was the first spacecraft to achieve a soft landing on the moon or any planetary body other than Earth and to transmit photographs. On 16th July 1969, Apollo 11 with three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Edwin E. Aldrin Jr. was launched. After entering the lunar orbit, Armstrong and Aldrin were transferred to lunar module or LM named Eagle. Eagle landed on the moon's Sea of Tranquility at 4.17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or EDT on 20th July 1969. The first humans on the moon waited for six hours before they ventured out of their craft. At exactly 15 seconds after 10.56 p.m. EDT, Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the moon. The first step was witnessed by at least 500 million TV viewers on Earth. His first words when he stepped off the LM's landing pad were, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Aldrin joined him on the moon's surface almost 20 minutes later. Together, they spent just under two and one quarter hours outside their craft. Apollo 11 safely blasted out of moon orbit on its way back to a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean on 24th July 1969. Thus, U.S. kept up their commitment of landing on the moon before the end of the decade with 161 days to spare and won the race to the moon. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Dale. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moon quakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Marking the end 
end of the Cold War between the two superpowers, in July 1975, the first joint U.S.-Soviet space flight, U.S.-USSR Apollo-Soyuz Test Project or ASTP was launched. Astronaut Thomas P. Stafford and cosmonaut Alexei A. Leonov made their historic handshake in space on 17th July 1975 in Earth orbit. The American and the Soviet spacecrafts were joined together in space for approximately 47 hours during 17th, 18th and 19th of July 1975. In the process during these years, both Soviet Union and United States spent huge amounts of money in space research and education, which has benefited mankind. This is Susan Koshi signing off from the show.